Chapter 4, Cooling Load Estimation Previously, in Chapter 3, we already discussed on the air conditioning system and equipment. The knowledge that we get from Chapter 3 is actually going to be used during the system selection. This selection is going to be based on cooling load calculation or sometimes we refer it as cooling load estimation. In cooling load estimation, we are going to estimate the space heat gain, which is the heat that is generated in our space or room. Before we go further, let's have a look at the principles and modes of heat transfer. In order for us to answer the question, why do space heat gain occur, we are going to look at the fundamental principles. As stated, in the second law of thermodynamics, heat will always flow from a higher temperature region to a lower temperature region. This is a driving force for heat transfer to occur. This principle is used extensively in the HVAC industry. For your information, there are three modes of heat transfer. The first one is conduction, the second is convection and the third is radiation. Conduction is the form of heat transfer through a body that occurs without any movement of the body. The terms body is referring to solid. For example, heat transfer through solids for buildings is through the walls and roof. Another mode of heat transfer is called convection. Convection is a form of heat transfer that results from movement of liquids or gases. The movement of liquids or gases can be either by natural means or forced. The example for convection is heat from boiled water can increase the temperature inside a room. Meanwhile, radiation is a form of heat transfer that occurs between two separated bodies as a result of electromagnetic wave. For example, heat transfer from the sun to a room through glasses. Now, let's take this cross-section of a wall that consists of a window as our example. As we can see, our room of space can be heated by these four factors. Our room of space can gain heat from the sun through the radiation where the infrared rays strike through the glass of our window. The room of space also can gain heat through conduction where the transfer of heat through our conductive materials. During the day, the outer side of our wall is gaining heat, which means having higher temperature. And since our room of space is having lower temperature, therefore heat will be transferred from the outer wall to the inner wall. Now, the surface of our inner wall will become hotter since it receives more heat. Due to air circulation inside our room or space, it will circulate and heat the inner wall. Our room will now gain heat through this movement of air. This mode of heat transfer is called convection. The room or space can also gain heat through air infiltration. Air infiltration is the leakage of air through unsealed gaps. Air infiltration often occurs through windows and doors. Windows and doors are having gaps that is purposely made for their operation. Note that air infiltration is a source of heat gain but it is not due to heat transfer since 
it is due to leakage through unsealed gaps.